Hello, everybody. My name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV. I'm your host for this series. And in this episode, we're going to look at channel notifications. Join me here, if you will. Let's take a look in Teams and see what we're talking about. I'm going to zoom in. I'm on the Teams icon in our navigation bar. And you can see that I've got the Atom team up and selected. And I'm looking at the general channel within the Atom team. Now, what I just said to you doesn't make any sense. Boy, if I got a solution for you. We put together an entire playlist of episodes around how to utilize teams efficiently and effectively. And some of the earlier episodes in this playlist go over what a team is, what a channel is, what tabs are, and how to work with all of them together to be more productive. I encourage you to go back, take a look at those episodes if you're not quite clear on where we are and how we got here. When we look at the general channel and we see the details of it off to the right, we're gonna scroll over all the way to the right-hand side at the end of the details area. So let's just do that while we're talking. And what we're gonna see here, right at the top, right next to our little indicator of the information content accessibility for this channel, it is set to org, meaning everybody is able to see this channel content. We see the ellipsis, the three dots that are horizontal and it says more options. We're gonna click on that, and we're gonna see that the very first element in our shortcut menu is channel notifications. Now, I'm gonna click on that, but I'm gonna zoom out before I do that, because we're gonna get a big box that opens up in the middle of the screen. We wanna be able to see what's going on there. So let me just move out of there so we can see it zoomed out. I'm gonna click channel notifications. It's gonna open up, and I'm gonna zoom back in so we could see exactly what's happening here. And we'll center this, just put it nice into the middle of the screen. And we can see that I'm in the Atom team in the general channel, and we're looking at channel notification settings for this channel. Multiple channels, we have different notification settings for each potentially. All new posts. Do I wanna be notified every time there's a new post in this channel? Those of you that are starting to use Teams may be getting inundated with a bunch of pop-ups and notifications. You may be saying, enough already. I don't wanna be told when somebody posts something. Or you may be saying, you know, I love the fact that Bob gets all those notifications and I don't. Why am I not seeing them? Well, it really just depends on whether your notifications have been turned on and how you've specified you want them to behave. So if you want to be notified, you'll come in here, you'll pull down this menu, you'll see we have three options, including off, and you'll see I could do banner and feed or only show in feed. And the difference is really that if I do banner and feed, and shows them to me in the feed. And we took a look at activity feeds in one of the earlier episodes, by the way. And or it shows them to me in the banner and gives me a notification there. In this case, it'll do both. If I only want it to be in the feed, a lot of people just want to go to the feed and kind of see an aggregated view or list, maybe once or twice a day, then I can set that. And I can say that I also want to include all replies and have that become part of that as well. And then channel mentions, notify me each time this channel is mentioned, I can specify that. And again, banner and feed and or only show and feed or just turn off. And if I'm not sure what the defaults were, and I wanna put everything back the way it was, just restore or reset to defaults and I can see that that automatically puts it back to the way that it should be when we start. So let's put that there, let's put that there. We'll click save, zoom out, and nothing appears to have changed because indeed nothing will until we start having more activity. And then based on how we specify we want our notifications to happen, we potentially could then go up to our activity area and go into our feeds, either my activity or feed, and over time that will populate and we will then see more stuff, as you can see, showing up and we'll begin to see things happening based on the choices we make about notifications for each and every one of the channels that we are able to essentially subscribe to because we're members of those teams. Now there's one other way to do the same thing that I just showed you. Let's go back to Teams where we just were a moment ago. And instead of going to each individual channel, as you've seen me done, I'm just highlighting one of the private channels there, the Courtney channel, and coming over here and choosing channel notifications like we did and doing this on a per channel basis, one at a time, which we can do if we want to. Uh, I can come to the individual channel right here in the list on the right without even going off to the right-hand side, excuse me, on the left without going to the right-hand side. And I can click here and I can also get channel notifications right here, but again, you know, one at a time. Or I could, if I want to, come up here to the team itself. Again, more options. 
And you'll see that one of the items under my pop-out list right here is that I can manage team. Let me just get out of this and zoom back out for you. And when I do that, I get tabs with all the different elements, the members, the channels, the settings, et cetera. If I go to the channels tab and I'll zoom in so you can see that. You'll see that the channels are listed one at a time here. I can see the current status of them and see what's going on with them. You can see right here, right? I can see whether or not they're being shown to me and or members. I can see the type of channel it is, when activity happened, et cetera. But I also can get channel notifications right from here, seeing all the channels listed. So three different places, I wind up in the same place, doing the same thing, modifying the channel notifications for any one of these channels. As I go in and I take a look, it's really just a matter of how I get there. However you choose to do this, channel notifications are a great, great way for you to be able to keep up with what's going on with all the other members of the channel, what they're doing, what they're posting, what may or may not be important for you. It lets you customize and tailor the way you want to consume that. I'll be back with more episodes as we continue our series, but until then, happy teaming. Check out the playlist for more Microsoft Teams tips and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon, and thanks for watching.